Kathy Bassett with Mount Air Farms. Bruce Mooney with Mount Air Farms. If you've eaten today, thank a farmer. It's, it's show, show time. time. There is a chicken recipe that put Nashville on the culinary map. Nashville style hot chicken was developed some 80 years ago and is a Music City favorite. Oh, but we have good news for you. You don't have to be in Nashville to enjoy this hot take on chicken. We have some guests that we would like to introduce to you. This is Mount Air Director of Communications and Community Relations, Kathy Bassett, and along with her Director of Retail Sales, Bruce Mooney, to show us how to make Nashville style hot chicken. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. You guys ready? Yeah. This sounds like interesting. I had never actually heard of it. So, well, Nashville is more is known for more than just country music these days, and and chicken is uh, making a name for itself. So, so Bruce you're... here is uh you know we're not professional chefs, but okay. we're professional eaters. So, <laughs> uh, so bear with us. This is our first time doing something like this, but we're excited to bring you some delicious Mount Air Farms chicken. We're from Mount Air Farms. And uh, we're using a special kind of chicken today, Bruce. Tell us about what chicken we're using. Uh, boneless thighs. Oh. So I think we all grew up eating, uh, my father would have called these short joints. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually boneless thighs. And for years, boneless breast was king. And now boneless thighs, when people are starting to get more flavor right. in their recipes, is taken over. So if you haven't had these, I highly recommend you do it. Okay. Uh, you can down there chicken at Acme, Safeway, all these. Uh, Redner's and even uh, Hawkers at the beach pasture. Oh, okay. Okay, so walk so, us walk yeah. us through yeah. talk talk us through yeah. as you do it what it is you're doing. So the key is you can't find Mount Air Farms chicken in these stores, but you can find their brand, and that is our chicken. So we're the largest private label retail chicken company. We're actually the fourth largest chicken company in the country. So you got to look a little harder to find our chicken, but but it's out there and it's 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 readily available. So first step. Uh, is we're going to take the chicken breasts and we're going to dredge them in the flour mixture. Okay. Boneless thighs. They're boneless thighs. We've sawed them See, first. already. I've already messed it up. We're, we've <laughs> sawed them on both sides. Yeah, salt on both sides. And in this mixture is a cup and a half of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and um, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're going to dredge them in a buttermilk mixture. It's it's buttermilk, a uh, teaspoon of hot sauce, and an egg. Uh -huh. And it's really important that you go dry, wet, dry. That way the it it builds. Stick yeah, it builds flavor. It, and leave it sit for a couple of uh, seconds so it has time to adhere to the chicken because it's really So this is chicken. this is basically you're making fried chicken. Basically. Okay. With a kick. With, With a, a kick. kick. Yeah. <laughs> chicken sandwiches right now are hot. You know, they're, they're hot commodity, not just hot spicy. They're actually, you know, they're competing against each other. Everybody loves chicken, of course. And right. so, you know, the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or the Popeye's chicken sandwich, there's sort of a chicken sandwich war. So we're going to head back over to the oil, so we're going to dip it in some uh, peanut oil. Where, where does the hot come in? So there is, so in this sauce right here, okay, there is also hot sauce, all right? So you start out in, in the uh, in the marinade, basically, with the oil with the hot sauce. Okay. And then at the end of it, after you're done cooking it, you're going to dredge it again into a hot sauce that has oh. a little bit of oil in it. It's got cayenne pepper, so it's got like a wet ending with it as well <laughs> um, before you put it on a delicious bun. So that is, it's kind of a double, a double hop whammy. All right, well, I'll tell you what, since you have that all cooking in the, the pan over there, we're gonna take this time to take a little break and then we're gonna come back and see you put the rest of it together. Looking forward to that. We'll be right back. We're back with Mount Air Director of Communications and Community Relations, Kathy Bassett, and Director of Retail Sales, Bruce Mooney, making Nashville-style hot chicken. <laughs> you got to say it right, too, don't you? Yeah. So, so the key to this, once you get the temperature up to 165, takes about four and a half minutes per side on these boneless sides. Make sure you take them out, put them on a rack that will drain something similar to this. Right. And then the key to this whole thing is this hot sauce. And it's made of cayenne pepper, some of the, the uh, hot oil, some brown sugar, paprika. The recipe is online. But the chicken comes off of this after it's dripped dry. Put it back into this delicious hot sauce. And by the way, see. you could make this without the heat if you wanted to. It would be, it would be delicious as well. well what, what, yeah, I was going to ask about that. What fun is that? Uh... <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> so anyway, we plate the sandwich. Get a little bit of lettuce, like you would from 
one of the fast food joints. Oh my goodness, mm. this looks good. A couple of pickles. And this recipe actually calls for the sweet uh, sweet pickles. Yeah. You use what you like. And then complete it with some french fries and a tomato salad. <laughs> and you've got a restaurant style meal at home for half the price. Bruce, hold and that up to the camera so we can see it real good. That looks so good. Actually, he wants to see if he can taste yeah. it through well, the. Yeah, I was hoping. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, oh now there we're you talking. go. There, reach oh, out. You oh, can almost reach out and, yeah. and taste it. And make sure you get the Mount Air thighs because that's right. what you want. Bonus thighs. Okay. Bonus I think it's important that uh, most people have a brand that they know, but everybody shops at grocery stores. And right. Mount Air, we pride ourselves on being the biggest unbranded company in the country. Uh, we make private labels. So if you shop locally at an Aldi's, a BJ's, at me, Safeway, their brand is our brand. Right. And it's important because our people put as much pride in making their brand as they would if we had a brand. There you uh, go. We've been doing this for over 100 years and it's worked really well. Um, very excited to be here and we get back to the community because it works so well. So we're really excited to be on. We really appreciate you having us on. Um, well, we hope that next time you come in to Historic Studio D and make up something in the uh, Delmarva Life Kitchen. Yes. We'd so we can taste it. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so much. We'll send some over to the studio so you guys can have some of these, these uh, later on today, okay? Oh, we'll be waiting. Uh, I'll be standing outside the front door. <laughs> Bruce Mooney, Kathy Bassett with Matter. Thank you so much for, for cooking with us today. Thank, Thank you. you.